I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, well, first of all, congratulations on New York last year. Thank you. Do you think all these years you were in the wrong events? Like everyone said, oh, I think because you're your brother, you have to run the 1500, right? Yeah, I, I think I was in the wrong event, but I was so stuck in it because in my head I knew since my brother was a 1500 athlete and I was running okay and I made the Olympic team in 2016 and World Championship in 2015, then I thought I'm in the right place. But then after New York, I thought, wow. I should have moved up in distance a while ago. Yeah, you were, I mean, you were pretty good. You made the Olympics. What was your 1500 PR? Uh, 404? Yeah, I never ran that fast. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> you still made the Olympics. So. Yeah. so how has everything gone since New York? It's been good. Um, training is good. I just kept everything the same. Just a few switching because of the difference in cost between the New York and Boston. But so far, so good. Where have you been training? I'm in Kenya. Who coaches you? Uh, my coach is, his name is Julian Di Maria. Uh, he lives in Kenya, but he's from France. Yeah. Yeah. Well, would you say the preparation's gone? How would you compare it to New York? Uh, it's been good. The only downside was that I had COVID at the beginning of the year. So that held me back a few weeks. But uh, once my body was fully recovered, I was able to catch up with training. So I'm hoping that this race will show the results from the training that I've done. Did you do any races in the spring? I only did the Atlanta half, the public half marathon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was just to prepare for this event. And then did you fly back to Kenya? Yeah. yeah. And uh, are you worried about the downhills? Uh, not really because where we train in Kenya there are lots of downhills and uphills. So, not really, but I'm just hoping that I'm going to, control, to be able to control myself and and to be cautious of the downhills and um, prepare for when it gets tough. Because I know after the hills there will be a sharp hill, so I have to be ready for that. And this, there's no London this year, the field is so strong. What's the goal on Monday? Uh, oh my goodness. Obviously, if God willing, crossing my fingers to, to win. But being in the top three would be also still a dream come true because this event, this field this year is so loaded that you know placing in the top five, top ten is just that great. But I mean, a win or in the top three would be really good. All right, thank you. Thank you Appreciate so much. it. Good luck.